Hi, I'm Darren Tolliner, Service Manager at Coeur Tractor, part of the Adams Tractor of Spokane and Lewiston locations, as well as Boundary Tractor of Bonners Ferry. Just so wanted to mention that uh, anytime we're going to try using, utilizing any systems on our tractor, it's important to always consult your safety manual and review it thoroughly before you actually attempt to do anything on your tractor by yourself. And remember that you as the operator are always responsible for your own safety. So today we're going to talk about uh, front end attachments, hydraulically operated front end attachments uh, that would work in conjunction with your third function valve. And this will be basically the same on all of your Kubota equipment. The third function valve has the same function from a small BX series all the way up to our large M series. So a lot of questions that we get um, when hooking and unhooking our attachments is when we actually go to hook our attachments back up, they are difficult to hook up because we have some excess hydraulic pressure built up in either the attachment itself or in the third function valve on the tractor. So the basic way to, uh, if, if your implement is still on the tractor, the best thing to do before you go to unhook the implement is what you want to do is you'll actually start the tractor up. And what I like to do before I unhook my implement is if it's a grapple such as this or a snow plow that has hydraulic angle on it, what I want to do is I want to open that implement up slightly or if it's a plow, I want to put that plow to where it's right in the middle, not off to one side or the other. So once that's done, you shut your tractor off, you can lower this back to the ground. Key the tractor on, but don't start it. And what that does is it allows power to go to our third function valve and we can press these two buttons and you can actually hear it actually releasing the hydraulic pressure. So once you've done that two or three times, that's plenty. Now it's safe to unhook your implement. So when you go to hook your implement back up, it shouldn't be as difficult. And leaving the implement open slightly like that, or like say on a snowplow where it has hydraulic angle, if you leave it in the middle, it won't be to one side or the other causing excess pressure, making it difficult to hook back up. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is if, uh, say if we've had our implement off the tractor for a length of time, whether it's a front grapple or a snow blade, pretty much anything with a hydraulic control that utilizes a third function valve, I'm gonna show you an easier way to attach it. See right now we have an excess of hydraulic pressure built up in either our hoses or on the tractor side and I'm having difficulty pushing the actual fitting into place. So what we can do at this point, shut the tractor off, key it back on and don't start it and then just hit these two buttons here and that'll relieve the hydraulic pressure on the tractor side. Now we should be able to hook our fittings up. Just like that.